Hey, this is Bill, N2CQR. I just wanted to give you guys an update on a recent project here. Uh, it all started when I was walking down on my afternoon walk. I went and just going down the street and somebody was throwing out this nice piece of pine. You'll notice that it's just about the right size for a rig, for, a, for a, a radio. So when I got back to the shack, I was thinking, what can I do? I need to keep busy here. We're in the, uh, hopefully in the final stays of the uh, quarantine lockdown stay in the shack phase and I've been running out of projects to work on so I looked around the shack and I had bits and pieces of things that could come together to become sort of a rig so that's what I started working on I here, the whole thing let's let's start this way here's a speaker put the speaker well put the, put the speaker over here for now all right so now we got audio output then well I had this um Whimsy kit. Um, this thing here. Here we go. This is a nice Ramsey kit uh, um, amplifier. Kind of nice. It's solid state. Um, it's got um, MOSFETs in there or FETs of some sort. Yeah, I think they're MOSFETs. And uh, puts out about 35 or 40 watts. I built that out in the A's where I haven't, haven't used it for a while. But there it is. So we've got audio out, RF out. You can see where we're going. Then when I started looking around for <clears throat> for, for a transceiver, I, I spotted this thing that I haven't worked on in a really long time. Look at that. Boom. Holy cow. You see what's happening here, right? Okay. So this, is, this box has in it a BitX40 module. I think you can see it in there. Hold on. There you go. You see it in there. And the I, I paired it up with the VFO from a Galaxy 5 transceiver that Pete alerted me to. They were selling somebody was selling it on, on eBay. I got it. I was gonna take the capacitor out because the capacitor is just so nice. Hold on, I gotta fix my frequency display. <laughs> um the 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 the, the, the capacitor was so nice, but then I decided to keep the box. I solid stated it, took the tube out, replaced it with a J310 uh, FET, and boom, now I have this little uh, uh, transceiver box, and it, and it works. Uh, hold on, let me, let me see if I can tune somebody in. So if I did down here, the CW portion, pretty good, huh? Anyway, that's the idea. So, a bunch of things I have to do with this. Still have to take care of some odds and ends. You know, I've got a. I think the the mic ampl amplifier here needs some some shielding because it gets a little bit of feedback when I go, and I got to hook up uh, uh, a better bandpass fill, uh, an output. Uh, uh, output filter on the amplifier because I think right now it's set up for 20 meters. Like I need to obviously need to put it on 40, but that should be pretty easy to do. And then I, I should be good to go. This should be like a, um, a 35 or 40 watt, 40 meter SSB and possibly CW station. And it's been, been fun to just kind of mess around with a little bit, keep me busy while I'm in the final days of lockdown. I've really been hitting the bottom of the barrel here, guys. It's been, uh, if you look up here, Behind it, you'll see, yeah, there it is. This is a, a KLH FM uh, broadcast receiver that um, Roger sent me, Papa Alpha One Zulu Zulu. He's now out in California, and he sent it to me a while back. It, it needed some work. I worked on it. got it going. It sounds pretty good. Hold on. Let me see. Hold on. Very ugly strain. I have to sit home. <laughs> I think it sounds pretty good. But look, when you start working on gear like that, 
Oh, I also want to thank N5ALO, Bill. He sent me the uh, uh, some really nice speakers that go with it. But uh, when you start working on gear like that, you know you're sort of reaching the, the bottom of the barrel, and it was time for me to get back to ham gear. So here we are. There we are. I'm going to call this thing the Quarantine Hodgepodge. Stay tuned. I'll keep you posted. 7-3.